We have Air Max Day this week, a general collaboration with Adidas, and not much else. So let's keep this video short and talk about everything that's dropping this week. Hey, my name is Ben from Release Expert, and every week I cover all the secret releases. I compile all the releases into this doc right here, which you can access in the video description. And let's start talking about this week's releases. So we have uh, this Division Street GOAT collaboration. So GOAT the Marketplace is working with Division Street that helps with student athletes with collaborations and getting their exposure out. They're doing collaboration on the Air Max One on the with this University of Oregon theme. Um, it's a mouthful, it's a lot of collaboration, but this was sort of a surprise drop. Uh, not many people knew about this and this was exclusive to GOAT. So uh, if you got a chance to get a pair, this was a really nice pair to have. And it was a big shocker for Air Max Day. But I think aside from that, there wasn't that many big releases. Well, we also had this big bubble royal colorway. This is, in, this is the, essentially the same kind of coloring that happened 10 years back with the Air Max 187s with the red upper and that vault midsole. I'm not a big fan, but this was considered a shock drop on Air Max Day on the Nike sneakers app. Um, if you're able to get a pair, these were super limited. And on the tongue, it also says 326, obviously Air Max Day. This is a must have, but I think in terms of wearability, this is definitely not a shoe you could wear. Um, now, in terms of the big Air Max silhouette that dropped, there's 11 different colorways of this Air Max DN. Uh, that stands for Dynamic Air Unit or Dynamic Tuning. Um, retails 160. I actually got a pair right here. Um, and, you know, initial thoughts, not a big fan, to be honest. Uh, so, yeah, that was a big release. On Wednesday, we had this jam collaboration with the Adidas Samba. Super popular silhouette, super popular collaborator. Uh, it's a great, you know, collection of both worlds. The only problem is this shoe retail for $250. Uh, they were made in Germany, so I think that sort of justifies the price hike. Uh, but the shoe is mainly leather, and there's a black and white colorway. Super clean. The white one dropped on the Confirmed app, and the black and white pair dropped on the Jam website. Um, but these are super limited, super hard to get. I wasn't able to get a pair. Uh, but... Maybe that's good because these retailed for way too much. Now, moving on, there's a bunch of releases, but I think the main focus this week was, of course, Air Max Day. Um, so we could skip through when you guys get a chance, kind of look at the document on your own. Uh, there's a lot more releases to look at, but it's a pretty short week. Uh, one thing I want to highlight is Anthony Edwards AE1s have been selling out. So this is no surprise that this McDonald's All-American colorway a mismatch of blue and red. These sold out and these only dropped at Full Locker and maybe Tramps. This is essentially a PE that released to the public. So these are super limited. So if you want a pair uh, on the resale market, they're going for a decent amount. Moving on. Um, and this is really the last year I want to talk about. We could keep this week's video pretty short, but this Air Jordan 1 OG Craft. Now, I think Jordan brand needs to put the Air Jordan 1 in the vault for a bit. Uh, take a break because these Air Jordan 1s are not selling out. So this retails for $180. This was our quote unquote big Saturday drop. Uh, in terms of the material, the Craft series is supposed to be um, premium materials and it's supposed to be a mismatch of all these different materials to make it a lot more premium. Now this shoe, when I see this, it just looks like a dirt magnet. And the problem with that suede is once you get dirty, it's hard to clean. Um, but the huge controversy with this shoe is that it retailed for 180, but of course no one's buying it for 180. Um, if you check all these resale sites, we will see that these are going for 125, 112, 140. These are already $40 under retail. If you, depending on where you live, I live in California, so for 180 plus tax, that's a $200 shoe. So if you're trying to buy the shoe to sell, you're not making any money. And if you're trying to save money, just go on, go eBay, StockX, you'll be able to find a pair for under retail. Uh, but aside from that, these were all the major releases for this week. Let me know what you guys think about the releases in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week.